Okay, so if you like me in my current situation where I do a lot of this recording um, in my basement, um, I don't have a first Lego League mat anymore. I don't have a huge, large table like I used to have in my classroom and when I taught and coached uh, first Lego League. But I have a floor like this. And so if you don't have one of those mats and you don't have a big space, maybe it's because you, I don't know, teach a lot of kids in a room and you can't give up eight to ten feet of space, what you can do is just use masking tape. So I've got two masking tapes here. I've got white and I've got black. You could have other colors. You don't have these exact colors. Obviously, if you just change the threshold of your coating. But what you can do then is you can, you'll lay down your black tape in terms of your course, and then you'll put on the outside at least of one edge. If you want, you can do two. Um, that way you can practice turning, you know, from the right side or the left side of the, of the strip the white tape, and then you can just write your code so your robot will kind of just still navigate that pathway, but you don't have to have a huge arena. So what I'm going to do here, I will pause it so I don't bore you to death. I will create just a basic little uh, loop here, and then I'll show you what that looks like here at the end. Okay, so there it is. I just took some tape and built a, a border all around it. I got some terms to challenge my coding. And now we can get into writing our first line follow program of several so we can kind of see how this works. So let's go ahead and get started by checking out the next video of creating a simple line follow program. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.